is Miss Sarah and welcome to our next character craft. Today we are going to do Pig the Pug. So your kit is going to come with a few things. You'll have your instructions and your song lyrics for the day along with a coloring sheet for Pig and a really cool uh, maze. So for our fun crafts you're going to be making Pig the Pug or any dog that you'd like. It's gonna come with your paper plate and your construction paper, and you're gonna just design your own. You're gonna color it, cut out your ears, glue them on. Uh, you can use markers, crayons, however you'd like. And I just try to make mine look kinda like Pig, but it's really hard because he kinda has a mean little face. So that's all you have to do for that. And we have a really fun counting game. So it'll come with these little dog houses with numbers, and some bones that have little dots with obviously an amount of numbers on them. And you're gonna cut both of those out, every single one. And then you're going to line up the bone with the house along with the amount of dogs. You can cut out right at the line. So one dog, you know, goes to the one dog house and the one bone. Or you can cut out all the dogs and just put each one, if you have five, you could put five dogs in the, in the house. If you have two, you could do two, however you would like to do, but it's a really great way to learn your numbers and, and your early counting. So you'll have lots of fun with that. And the most important part right now is we're gonna start our books and we have two Pig the Pug books today. The first one is our Pig the Pug. And this is by Erin Blady. All right, friends, so let's begin. Pig the Pug. <clears throat> Pig was a pug, and I'm sorry to say he was greedy and selfish in most every way. <laughs> but he's so cute. He lived in a house with a wiener dog, Trevor. But when was he nice to him? I'll tell you, never. You've got some great toys there, poor Trevor would say, but Pig would just grumble, they're mine, go away. That's not fair, look at all the toys that he has. Hmm. But it might be fun. It, but it might be more fun, Trevor said to Pig, if we both played together while Pig flipped his wig. He's not even wearing a wig. No, they are mine. Didn't you hear? Only mine. You keep your paws off them. They are mine, mine, mine. I know what your game is. You want me to share, but I'll never do that. I won't and I swear. Well, that's not very nice. You should always share, right friends? And with that, he proceeded to gather his stuff and make a big pile with a huff and a puff. Oh, poor Trevor just sitting down there. And once he had gathered them up in a pile, he howled from the top with a satisfied smile. There, shouted Pig, now you won't get my loot. It's mine, 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 mine. So why don't you scoot? But just at that moment, poor Trevor did see the pile was wobbling. Oh, dear me. Watch out up there, good Trevor did cry. But the shame of it was, well, pugs can't fly. Oh no, it's like pig fell right out the window. These days it's different, I'm happy to say. It's so very different in most every way. Looks like Trevor's got a whole bunch of toys. Yes, Pig shares his toys now, and Trevor's his friend, and they both play together. While Pig's on the mend. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Well, I guess Pig learned to share a little bit, right friends? All right, so before we start our second book, let's take out our song lyrics. And if you don't know them, it's bingo. Uh, so what we're gonna do is, I'll show you how we start, and then you'll be able to follow along. So we start with 
There was a farmer who had a dog, and Bingo was his name. Oh, B I N G O, B I N G O, B I N G O, and Bingo was his name. Oh, so then when you start it again, you're going to clap for the B in Bingo, and then we'll go through the song that way, and then you'll clap for B I, and then all the way through till we only clap and we don't spell his name. Let's begin. Ready? There was a farmer who had a dog, and Bingo was his name. Oh, B I N G O, B I N G O, B I N G O, and Bingo was his name. Oh, there was a farmer who had a dog, and Bingo was his name. Oh, I N G O, I N G O, I N G O, and Bingo was his name. Oh, all right, next one. There was a farmer who had a dog, and Bingo was his name. Oh, N G O. NGO, NGO, and Bingo was his name. Oh, there was a farmer who had a dog, and Bingo was his name. Oh, Geo, 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 and Bingo was his name. Oh, all yeah, right, last one. There was a farmer who had a dog, and Bingo was his name. Oh, 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 and Bingo was his name. Oh. There was a farmer who had a dog, and Bingo was his name. Oh, Bingo was his name. Oh, good job, friends. That was a hard one. So, to reward us for that really hard song, we're going to read *Pig the Slob*. Same author, but this is another version, another book from *Pig*. All right. Pig was a pug, and I'm sorry to say, he was shockingly lazy, such a shameful display. He lived in a flat, he doesn't want walks, horizontal position, which left him in truly appalling condition. Full of candy and soda and fake mozzarella, Pig was a hardcore full-time sofa dweller. His only exertion was swip swiping a screen. Swipe, stare, repeat was his grueling routine. Sure, once in a while he would lift a remote, but it made him quite tired and his ankles would blow. Oh my, friends. Flat on his back, he'd relax with a sigh, binging on TV and nuggets and pie. Pig dug in deep. He was part of the couch, an immovable lump and a warm, sticky pouch. Oof, look at all that food. He's got to get moving. Trevor was worried. Pig's health was at risk. We should take a quick jog or walk. Nice and brisk. Pig stirred from a stupor. His reply was quite tart. He simply said no and then unleashed a fart. We'd have so much fun though, tried Trevor once more. Slap. It was a suggestion Pig chose to ignore. From a bunker of sloth and with no sense of shame, Pig returned to his ice cream and video game. Well, Trevor's trying very hard. Do you see that? Let's see if we can get Pig off the couch. And that's when they heard it. Trevor stopped in his tracks. What's groaning, asked Pig, through a mouthful of snacks. The first groan was subtle. The next one was not. The floorboards were groaning. Yes, groaning a lot. Uh-oh, what do you think's going to happen? I don't know. Could that be my tummy? As Pig blinking slow. Then the floorboards exploded. <gasps> oh no. Hey, watch out below. These days it's different, I'm happy to say. Pig makes an effort to come out and play. He's up off the couch doing cartwheels and squats. He practices yoga and goes jogging lots. His workouts are great, but the part he likes best is when he gets home and he can have a nice rest. 
Well, friends, that's the end of Pig the Slob. If you like them, you could definitely come to the library and check them out. We have the copies. But otherwise, I hope you had a lot of friend, a lot of fun today, friends. And let me know what your pigs look, your your pig the pugs look like. Bring them on in. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day, and we'll see you next character craft, friends.